සංජීව බලන් ඉන්නවා මම එයාගෙන් ප්‍රශ්න හරි මොන වෙලාවෙ ඩොක්ටර් සර්ජරි කියන්නේ කොහොමද යුනිවර්සිටි ජීවිතේ ලංකාවෙන්ලවෙනියා අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම වෙලාවක් නැහැ කියලා කවුරුත් කියන්න බෑ මෙඩිසින් ඉස් නොට් සම්තිං යූ ස්ටඩි නෝ ඉට්ස් ලයික් මෙඩිසින් ඇන්ඩ් නොට් සම්තිං යූ ස්ටඩි 24/7 ඉට් දෙන් බිකම්ස් බෝරින් නෝ දෙන් යෝ කැනොට් පාස් ඇන් එක්සෑම් ඔර් ඇන් 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 then you be you make a bad doctor you can't become a good doctor you understand you need to eat on time you need to wake up early or you need to sleep late or whatever it is the way you plan it that makes your life very much easier when you come back as a doctor when you're practicing so uh, that is like actually the maturity i would say you all did find time to explore and have fun oh we did a lot of things we did travel around and uh, our uh, f- have favorite have you all like done things together Obviously we are roommate unfortunately these vloggers like all roommates um our roommates <laughs> so we have now two other dearest uh, friends uh, who Dr Moise who was my roommate at uh, the district general hospital Vaunia when we did our interns also so yeah he was through out there now he's at national hospital and then uh, uma of course was we were in the same flow and same room we were cooking together eating together so then uh, yeah so like uh, we know that uh, when sanji cooks he never puts salt and uh, when uh, uma yeah when uh, when uma cooks yeah when uma cooks he puts a lot of salt so then like uh, I don't know. So like you know, know, so know that, that road that road <laughs> was taken up by this specific guy. Yeah. Okay. He, he, he won't let anybody else to cook. No, it it okay. was no. Nah. Definitely. Nah. Definitely. It wasn't like that. Now, initially when I went to Belarus I knew a little bit of cooking, not like wow cooking, but I've seen what my you mom does. Manage. Yeah, my mom down is in the kitchen, right? But then uh, first day I said I don't know to cook. Okay. So one guy was cutting some onions, the other guy was cutting some other stuff and there was chili powder and all these curry powder and there was a pan full of water, it's boiling and these fellows were trying to put everything together okay. and then we are trying to make a chicken curry. and the boil the pan was like bro at least you had about half a liter water in that and this chicken is also not washed properly then i thought even if when i say i don't know cooking then i have to eat that too <laughs> then i decided fine no problem i'll do it and then i did it so when i did first two days or first meal when i did they knew that i knew cooking so it came to me so what i did was i gave each person different things so he'll wash uh, the vessels he'll cut the vegetables so tasks. yeah but i was just uh, like you know this putting it together awesome. yeah exactly but anyway that's the thing he's the cook is yeah. he always that's like that I... <laughs> or is he only wake up to cooking no no he's like always supervise and say this has to be done this yeah. way yeah he's like that. now we are seeing why do you think why do you think we are sitting here i don't know Yeah no some bad it's, it's a good thing so, you know it's not a bad thing it's a good thing they ate good food 6 years now we all put up a restaurant called uh, doctor's kitchen we do a 
restaurant in uh, Colombo 7. So yes. that was that became that was the passion. So we are all doctors. We named it uh, named it as Doctors Kitchen. So you know we came up with something like that. So they are my partners anyway. They don't cut and chop, and we don't grill there. But still, the operations are running. The recipes are ours. We are doing pretty well. So that is also part of the thing. So we still practice medicine. That is just a. Uh, additional thing, just a passion what we do. So yeah. Nice. So Dr. Uma, uh, now we spoke about extracurricular activities at uh, the university. Like, do y'all have time? Again, I'm asking. Like, do y'all have time to actually, you know, go ahead with things that you want to do, like extracurricular activities, stuff like that? Y'all do have time. Definitely, definitely. Uh, there were a lot of guys who were into specific extracurricular activities who went. I would say. Uh, into some quite advanced <coughs> career pathways, like some were into bodybuilding, some were into some sports specifically, uh, some were into that, what do you call that, Mashan, that uh, the, the urban exercise, what, what kind of thing, what do you call that? Crossfit. Like. Crossfit, yeah. crossfit, crossfit, some, uh, crossfit is a, a big thing, it was a big thing, it was going on in there. Uh, some of them were in CrossFit. Uh, actually, one of these guys, he went into bodybuilding and he also got into the sport and I think he won some accolades regarding that. Not the best, but the, he did progress. Then there were, there were even others who went to, let's say, took up uh, boxing, like uh, not in a professional way. But uh, they did choose. There were a lot of varieties of things to go by. Yeah, but apart from that, we did a lot of sports as well. We did football. Futsal. Yeah, then we had... The, Cultural events and uh, food festivals and all oh. that. Yeah. yeah, so we were the first batch, I think, in 2007. We are the one who initiated something called a Freshers' Night for the university. So, like, we didn't have a Freshers' Night, not 2007, 2008, right? 2008, yes. 2007. You graduated in 2000? 13, yeah, 13 we graduated, but then again, it was a good thing actually, there was a ayah called Dr. Kushan, he's the one who initiated actually, then uh, we were in the union and we were the second year students, so we did it for our first years, mm -hmm. we welcomed our first years, we had initiated something called Freshers' Night, and we had a bigger union then later on, uh, and uh, like you know, we were getting more students involved in it, then uh, we had uh, some competition, dancing, this, that, etc., inter, uh, how do I say, interstate competitions and etc. There were students who went abroad uh, for like for competitions as well. So it was actually a fully fledged uh, a proper experience. I wouldn't complain. But uh, say, but uh, unfortunately we were located around 350 kilometers away from the capital city. So it's like uh, each time you travel it's back and forth like you're going to Jaffa and coming back in Sri Lankan context if I explain. So if it was the same experience or a better experience, I would say if it was in Minsk or like say yeah, in the yeah. capital city, obviously it would have been better, but I wouldn't complain. So yeah. Yeah, that definitely was a minus. Mm. 